Hi, everyone. Can you hear me well? Good. So my name is Jose. I'm a co-founder at Oliver. I'm very passionate about football and technology. I'm a serial tech entrepreneur. And I want to talk to you about Oliver. So after getting picked on by my football teammates in an amateur game, I realized that I could improve the way I play if I had more data on how I was playing. So I realized that this is a common problem shared with more than 400 million amateur players in the world who lack access to important data that can actually help them improve the game in terms of athletic performance, health, and also sports skills. Uh, as you probably know, this is the, called the World's Game. Uh, there are more than 400 million amateur players um, around the world. And of course, like uh, Latin America, Europe, and also Asia, uh, with the recently interest of China on joining uh, football. And it's growing on a 5% five, um, 5 rate annually. So it's growing more than, than global population. population. Our solution for this problem is this all-in-one uh, algorithm that, uh, through this uh, smart shin guard, collects all data from football players in the field. Uh, this data is analyzed by machine learning algorithms and sends, uh, delivers this data um, to players and coaches in a mobile app. Uh, we're focusing the product uh, in, into this. Our tracking device has uh, GPS, acceler accelerom accelerometers, uh, gyroscope and a compass and connects via Bluetooth to the mobile app uh, so players and coaches ha can have you know their data uh, just in a fingertip. Our main advantage is the AI software that we were creating for more than two years so far. Uh, we say that this software allows us to democratize uh, football data access for non-professional players by eliminating barriers because we don't need uh, any camera, we don't need any middleman or tagging process in the middle, and we don't even need any video recognition software. Uh, our algorithms do that by their own. So well, you might be wondering what are football-focused insights. And so besides tracking distance covered, uh, speed, accelerations, and all the things that any like Fitbit or Garmin or wearable can track, uh, we're focusing the algorithm on the football experience uh, by tracking, for example, ball touches, kick power. Uh, we're giving a heat map with ball and without the ball of the movement of the player in the field. Uh, also tracking dribbling speed. And in the way here, we realized um, that also team metrics are really important. So now we're tracking team patterns, uh, like player constellation, distance between lines, and player affinity. So that gives the coach uh, valuable information uh, to do some changes or improve the, the way that the team plays. So the competitor map looks like this. Uh, these guys down here are providing with stats for elite players. Uh, these are in a, in a, in a vest. Um, they have a GPS and accelerometers. And these guys up here are looking more for the amateur um, you know, market uh, by simplifying uh, all the hardware. Uh, into a more affordable experience. Uh, we're focusing on, on football focused data uh, by giving them all these amateur players uh, valuable insights more related to football. So as you know, football is played with legs. And so as I mentioned uh, before, uh, we have the advantage of uh, you know, having the wearable, the tracker uh, on, on the legs that gives the chance to track kicks, uh, ball touches, power, and more. Um, but also we're tracking all the things that these guys are tracking with the best up here because we also have the GPS and, and we can track also athletic metrics. There are a lot of uh, business opportunities in the football market uh, in the B2B and B2C segment and, and they're not as separate as we thought before. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about that. We're starting in the B2B uh, segment. Uh, our revenue streams right now, are with, we're selling our device on uh, 200 US dollars. And also, we have an annual uh, $99 license for, for every tracker. Uh, there are a lot of other business models that we are analyzing and discussing with our current uh, partners. And of course, our, uh, our goal is to launch on B2C seg segment, uh, having a product and an addressable price of $99. Uh, also, we think Oliver has a coach in your pocket, so they can give you insights and information uh, around how you play. 
So this is what I'm, what I'm talking. Right now we are starting up here uh, with the club's youth formative teams and divisions, uh, providing the tracker to make them improve the game. Um, and how to you know, bridge uh, to the B2C segment is going to be through the same clubs we're selling now. Uh, because all these clubs have a lot of fans and, and followers that are also amateur players. Uh, so giving them the chance to compare, by using Oliver, we're giving, we're giving them the chance to compare themselves with the professional players. Uh, we're in a nine-month company, so we just uh, burn, and um, we raised uh, 240K so far. Uh, we've finalized second iteration of uh, our MVP, who I have it right here. And we completed more than 300 UX trials, developed a mobile app. Here's the gaps live with the electronics inside and produce uh, 350 units that are undergoing testing. Of course, we had a team of uh, football fans, entrepreneurs, and industry experts. And now we're in a fundraising process to you know, double personal, produce 5K units, and improve the accuracy level of the algorithm, and also triple-level football uh, club partnerships, and expand our business operations here in Europe. Um, thank you very much.